Good morning guys, so I thought I would do a day in the life vlog just because I've been really wanting to do a foster care update and it seems like I never have the time to sit down with David to film these videos with that little lady like trying to interrupt and it's just been crazy so I thought why not just bring you guys along with me I've never done one of these before so I don't know what it's gonna look like but I'm literally just gonna take my camera everywhere we go and you guys will kind of get a glimpse into my life I wanted to get up before little lady to make breakfast usually David and her get up around 7 or I will say David makes breakfast a lot so sometimes I get up at 7 but um, today I got up earlier she got up at like 6.32. So yeah, my dream of some quiet time has disappeared, but that's okay. She's watching Paw Patrol toys, which is her go-to in the morning. Yeah, we'll see what today holds. I always try to read something encouraging in the morning. This is New Morning Mercies by Paul David Tripp. It's just a everyday morning devotional. It's super encouraging. Today's devotional says, don't give way to discouragement, feelings of filthy or waves of fear because the Father has graciously chosen to give you the kingdom. I mean, it's so good and it has Bible reference down here. I love this devotional. It just gets my day started in a positive way. I can do anything. Aww. Okay, it's 8.05. We have to be at school by 8.30, then I come back to start work. Uh, yeah, we're getting ready to hit the road. Little lady, are you ready to go to school? You making your bed? You made. Yeah, good job. Okay, I just got home from dropping off little lady at school, and now usually what I do, I have about 20 minutes before I start my part-time job at home, so, this is what I do. I can't focus until everything is cleaned up, so that's what I'm gonna do now. Alright, so we have the laundry going. I'm gonna get back to work. I probably won't film too much of this because let's be real, I'm either on the computer or on the phone and it's not all that exciting. And how you make me smile. And how you make me smile. Oh yeah. And how you make me smile. Oh baby, how you make me smile. Okay, it's been a few hours. I've been working all morning. Um, I am at a point where I just need to go through a lot of emails. So what I usually do when I have to go through emails is I hop on the bike. I don't know if you guys can see this. Mm, there it is. Yeah, our bike is in our family room. It was in the basement, but little lady... I don't know, she's always up here and I was just finding myself not going down there because I was up here watching her. So I just decided to move it up here and I can put something on the TV and bike or go through my emails. It's just a lot more convenient. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I try to get in exercise every day, whether that be biking or walking or yoga or going to the gym. Going to the gym has been a struggle lately, but I'm really, really gonna be trying to incorporate that back into my schedule. But yeah, I'm gonna go through some emails and I'm gonna jump on the bike. Another perk from working at home. Really, I only did 15 minutes because I try to be efficient. I crank that baby up to eight, 
did 15 minutes. Not the whole time was it on eight because I'm not in that good of shape, but I'm realizing more and more when you have kiddos in the house, time is, time is special. So I try to squeeze in as much as I can in a little bit of time. So I'm gonna go change back into my normal clothes, get back to work, got through those emails. So check that off the list. All right, I'm working on this salad. I thought I would just tell you guys how foster care is going from my perspective. Um, for those of you who've been following our journey, you know that we don't have any children of our own. Um, and we just, I don't know, there's a point where we just felt God calling us to foster care. And I think for me, I was just super excited to bring a child into my home and start feeling like I had, I don't know, a child to care for. It's something that I've desired for so long. And it has been good in that respect of just, you know, there is a child in our home 24 seven who needs our care. But at the same time, I totally over glamorized it in the sense that um, these children are coming from trauma and they're getting taken from their homes into a stranger's home and you're the stranger and they don't always adjust well to that. So we've had a lot of hurdles, um, specifically behavioral issues and just acting out. And I don't want to make it all sound bad because we have some really good days. It's just those hard days can be really hard and you can go to bed feeling defeated. But again, at the end of the day, it's not about us. It's about the children and they don't pick to be here. And so this is the only way that they know how they can try to control the situation. So I'm learning that day by day. It's been hard in our case in the sense that she views David, I think, as the fun one and me as like the more authoritative one. I'm just with her more and so I have to usually do more of the discipline which has been a struggle because she started acting out more towards me and that's hard. We're making it. I'm still very thankful that we decided to do this and I think three is like a super super hard age regardless so I'm learning that. Yeah that's where we're at from my perspective. We have figured out routine which has been good for all of us. It's just day by day. That's what I say every day. Day by day. I pray for every day to be a good day. And some days are good days. Some days are really hard days. But I think that's common for all parents with toddlers. Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> Our neighbor is the sweetest and she gave us a bag of these fresh grown tomatoes. I tried growing tomatoes once and they all died so that failed. I would like to try again. I didn't really put in much of an effort that time. But she is the sweetest lady and she always brings us tomatoes and I'm so thankful for her. I have to go pick up little lady now. We're gonna come home. We have a caseworker coming over. We have to do monthly home visits for foster care. So she's gonna come over, look at the house, make sure we have food, make sure the house is clean. Yeah, um, and after that, I sold one of my tables on like a Facebook marketplace. So we have somebody coming to pick that up. Then I have to figure out what we're gonna do for dinner because I have no idea what I'm gonna do for dinner. And I told little lady that we could paint a pumpkin later today. So we'll probably do that. And it's also her sister's birthday. So we might go out to the store and get her sister something because she has a visit and she's gonna see her sister. So that's the plan for this afternoon once little lady gets here with me. We'll see if we get everything done. Did you have fun at school? Ooh, cold and hot. <laughs> cold and hot, huh? <laughs> Okay, we just got home from school. We always do a snack as soon as we get home. She loves fruit, so that's our snack. And now she's waiting for the caseworker to get here. She loves when guests come. What you doing? Are you waiting for the caseworker? You like it when people come to visit us? Love you! Love you! Mwah. Case visit went well. She was here for about 45 minutes. Uh, she just visits with us, makes sure things are going well. It's good to have her come here because it's somebody that I can just talk to who understands everything foster care. Now I'm just waiting because the person who bought my entry table on Marketplace should be here any minute. Yeah, and then I'm gonna go find something to make for supper. Okay, the big one. I'm gonna put some pop salt. Okay, put some salt and pepper on it. Okay. Salt first. So we've got salmon, squash, sweet potatoes. We're gonna go in the oven for about 20 minutes and then David will be home and we will have dinner together. I missed you. <laughs> did you get it? We decided well. to go to the gym. We did not get the pumpkins painted, but you don't always get things done that you plan to get done. So instead, we're going to the gym.
All right, it has been a night. Little lady is so tired, she's fighting sleep. Um, we didn't get much of a workout done at the gym because the daycare that they're supposed to have there wasn't there, so we had to take her in the gym with us and we just couldn't do that. So anyway, it is what it is. Um, I'm getting ready to do a devotional and I, I try to read um, some of the Bible. Also, I've started a new routine, what went well today and why. I really started doing this just the other day. I heard it at a work conference I was at and it's important because this journey is so hard and tonight has been rough and sometimes I go to bed because it seems like nighttime is so hard. I go to bed and I'm just frustrated and I just overlook the rest of the day of what went well. So that's something I've started incorporating. I hope it really just helps my mindset. So anyway, thank you guys for following along with me today. Sorry we didn't have a chance to have David. I'm um, good in the video. Hopefully he'll be able to show my next one. And Daddy, I got you lid. Thank you, sweetie. Please. Bye. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you like videos like this, let me know in the comments below. It was kind of fun doing day in the life. My life is not that exciting, but I don't know. Hopefully it's relatable to somebody. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.